Steve Scott. How to Stop Procrastinating. A Simple Guide to Mastering Difficult Tasks. You've probably procrastinated at some point. Everyone does. But why is it that we delay tasks even when we know it's against our best interests? Imagine you need to call your mom back, but you're feeling too tired, so you think, I can call her later this week. Or, perhaps there's a new hobby you want to start, but the fear of making mistakes holds you back. The personal reasons for procrastination can vary, but the result is always the same. In this blink, you'll learn that understanding the root cause of your procrastination is key to overcoming it. You'll discover strategies to clarify your commitments, focus on impactful projects, and set effective quarterly goals. You'll also find out how mastering the art of saying no can protect your time for important tasks and how establishing a robust weekly planning routine can prevent procrastination from taking over. Each technique offers a step toward transforming your procrastination into productivity, providing a clear path to personal and professional growth. So, if you're ready, let's dive in. Clarify your commitments for enhanced productivity. Procrastination often begins with overwhelming to-do lists. Understanding and managing your commitments is essential for reducing stress and boosting productivity. If tasks frequently swamp you, organizing your commitments can provide the clarity you need to tackle your responsibilities effectively. Begin by setting aside 30 to 60 minutes to jot down all your current commitments and any goals you aim to achieve in the next year. Whether you use a traditional notebook or a digital app like Evernote, the key is consistency and accessibility. This list will become your primary reference for all tasks and activities, helping you track progress and maintain organization. You can choose from two main methods to tackle this task. The first is the Getting Things Done, or GTD method, which involves recording every pending task, whether personal or professional. This could cover everything from ongoing projects and bucket list aspirations to routine appointments and daily chores. While GTD is thorough and can significantly enhance your organizational skills, it requires a substantial time investment and may feel daunting if you're prone to procrastination. Alternatively, you might prefer a focused approach that centers on the activities you need or want to accomplish within the next year. This method helps you prioritize imminent work projects, personal development objectives, family vacations, and even deferred health concerns. By concentrating on a narrower time frame, you can avoid feeling overwhelmed and focus on tasks that are immediately actionable. As you compile your list, don't stress about capturing everything perfectly. The goal is to transfer all pending tasks from your mind onto paper or screen, freeing up mental space and reducing daily anxiety. Keep this list handy and regularly update it as you complete tasks or when new ones arise. By clearly defining your commitments, you not only streamline your workload, but also set yourself up for continuous improvement in managing your time and responsibilities. This is the first step in transforming overwhelming chaos into structured, actionable clarity. Focus on five core projects to maximize impact. Being perpetually busy is often seen as a virtue, but true productivity isn't about cramming every moment with tasks. It's about focusing on what truly matters. The next step in avoiding procrastination involves a shift away from traditional multitasking and widespread commitments to a more focused approach that emphasizes a few core projects. The strategy utilizes the 25-5 rule, a powerful prioritization exercise. Start by listing 25 goals you aim to achieve. From this list, select your top five most critical goals. These become your primary focus. And the other 20? Set them aside and avoid any attention to them until you've accomplished your top five. This method simplifies your decision-making process and ensures that your efforts are concentrated on areas that promise the most impact. To implement this strategy effectively, start by identifying your core values, those principles that resonate most deeply with both your personal and professional life. 
reflect on your past experiences to determine moments of happiness, pride, and fulfillment. These reflections will help guide the selection of your projects, ensuring that your daily actions align with these values and increase satisfaction and productivity. Next, list potential projects or activities you're considering. Evaluate these against your core values and choose the five that excite you the most and hold substantial importance in your life. Commit to these projects, intentionally postponing others. This method turns overwhelming task lists into manageable, meaningful activities. By adopting this focused approach, you do more than manage your time. You ensure that every hour contributes to your overarching goals. This method is an important step in the fight against procrastination, eliminating it by aligning every effort with what is truly significant, leaving room for both personal growth and professional success. Set quarterly SMART goals for effective achievement. Effective goal setting is essential for overcoming procrastination and achieving success. Instead of setting annual goals that may seem overwhelming or distant as the year progresses, a quarterly approach keeps your motivation high and your actions aligned with your aspirations. This is effectively achieved through SMART goals, which provide a structured framework for creating actionable and impactful objectives. SMART is an acronym for Specific, Measurable, Attainable, Relevant, and Time-Bound. Each goal should clearly specify who is involved, what you aim to achieve, where it will take place, when it should be completed, and why it's important. This clarity helps guide your planning and focus, making it easier to track progress and achieve your targets. Goals should be measurable with clear criteria for assessing progress and realistically attainable to provide a challenge yet remain achievable. Relevance ensures that each goal aligns with your desires for personal or professional growth, directing your efforts toward meaningful areas. Making goals time-bound adds a deadline, creating a sense of urgency that helps prevent procrastination. But flexibility in goal setting is crucial as life's demands can extend beyond neat quarterly segments. For instance, preparing for an event like an Ironman race might stretch over several months, requiring adjustments to your typical quarterly timeline. To effectively implement SMART goals, focus on a manageable number of projects, ideally the five you chose earlier, that resonate with your core values and priorities. Regular weekly and quarterly reviews allow you to adjust these goals, ensuring they stay relevant as your circumstances evolve. Tools like Todoist and Evernote are invaluable for keeping track of these goals and breaking them down into daily actionable tasks. By setting quarterly SMART goals, you clarify your objectives and make them attainable, while also cultivating a habit of consistent progress and adaptation. This is crucial for long-term success. Master the art of saying no. Learning to say no is essential for maintaining focus and preventing procrastination. When bombarded with requests and opportunities, it's easy to overcommit, which is a direct path to feeling overwhelmed and ultimately procrastinating. This step focuses on enhancing your ability to decline tasks that don't align with your core projects, preserving your time and energy for your most important goals. The first reason to master this skill is to manage the overwhelming feeling that accompanies an overloaded schedule. An excess of commitments often leads to delaying especially challenging tasks. Additionally, the natural desire to please others can result in accepting tasks that detract from your effectiveness and focus. Furthermore, engaging in appealing but non-essential projects can scatter your efforts, pulling you away from your primary objectives. To effectively manage these challenges, start by politely and promptly declining requests that don't align with your main goals. Being honest and direct about your priorities usually helps others understand your need to concentrate on essential tasks. When facing unavoidable tasks that don't directly contribute to your core projects, try to connect them to broader personal goals to give them purpose. For instance, if a harmonious home life is important, 
view routine chores like dishwashing as contributing toward this larger goal. Regular evaluation of how requests fit with your priorities is crucial. If a tempting new opportunity arises, critically assess it against your established goals to ensure it's truly beneficial and not merely a distraction. Discussing your workload and priorities with your boss can also refine your responsibilities at work, focusing your efforts on high-impact tasks. By setting firm boundaries and being strategic about your commitments, you enhance your productivity and stay committed to your path. This strategic focus leads to a more fulfilling and effective use of your time, keeping you on track with your long-term goals. Effective weekly planning can overcome procrastination and boost productivity. Effective time management is essential for reducing procrastination and boosting your productivity. By concentrating on essential activities and establishing a structured weekly schedule, you can avoid the overwhelm that often triggers procrastination. This method works by clarifying your weekly priorities and shielding your time from less critical tasks that could hinder your productivity. Start by focusing on the big rocks, key activities that offer the most value to your personal and professional life. These could be things like quality time with your family, career advancement, or maintaining your health. Prioritizing these big rocks ensures that the most crucial aspects of your life get attention before you tackle lesser priorities, also known as the pebbles and sand. Plan your week effectively by beginning with a review session to reflect on three critical questions. What are my personal obligations? What are my priority projects? And how much available time do I have? This reflection helps establish realistic expectations for the week ahead, reducing the risk of feeling overwhelmed. Incorporating the 80-20 rule can refine this approach. This principle suggests that 80% of your results stem from 20% of your efforts. Identify tasks that yield the most significant outcomes and focus your energy there. Schedule these key priorities using tools like Google Calendar, which can integrate with other productivity apps and keep family or colleagues informed of your commitments. Further enhance your focus and efficiency by batching similar tasks and creating theme days. For instance, designate specific days for types of work, such as administrative tasks or client meetings, reducing the mental strain associated with frequent task switching. Dedicating time each week to plan and prioritize lays a solid foundation for sustained productivity and focus. This structured approach serves to highlight your most important goals and provide a clear path through your week, effectively minimizing procrastination and maximizing clarity and purpose. Daily Practices for Enhanced Productivity and Focus Overcoming procrastination involves more than time management. It's also about making daily choices that prioritize what truly matters. By adopting specific daily practices, you can effectively address tasks crucial for your personal and professional development and reduce the tendency to procrastinate. Let's take a look at a few of these techniques. Begin each day by tackling your most important tasks, MITs for short. Identify up to three tasks that align with your urgent projects or long-term objectives and aim to complete these early. This strategy secures significant progress early in the day and enhances your motivation by clearing important tasks from your agenda. Throughout the day, apply the Eisenhower matrix to prioritize your tasks effectively. This decision-making tool divides tasks into four categories based on urgency and importance. Tasks that are urgent and important require immediate attention, while important but not urgent tasks can be scheduled for later. This categorization helps you focus on critical activities without getting sidetracked by less significant ones. The Pomodoro Technique is another valuable tool for maintaining focus. Work in concentrated 25-minute intervals on a single task without interruptions, followed by a short break. This approach keeps your concentration sharp while allowing brief periods to rejuvenate. Building a tolerance for discomfort is also essential. Begin with manageable, slightly uncomfortable tasks to gradually increase your resilience. Undertaking challenging activities, 
like initiating tough conversations or starting complex projects, can demonstrate that these tasks are often more manageable than they seem. Accountability plays an important role in maintaining discipline. Utilize digital tools to track your progress or establish a partnership to share and pursue mutual goals. Having to report your progress to someone can significantly bolster your dedication to your tasks. Integrating these practices into your daily routine will effectively combat procrastination and boost your overall productivity. Each day presents a new chance to progress toward your goals, underscoring that consistent, focused effort is crucial for success. Craft a strategic game plan to conquer procrastination. To finalize your anti-procrastination strategy, it's time to turn the insights you've gained into a clear, actionable game plan tailored to your daily life. This means building on the groundwork we've already covered and shaping a daily and weekly routine that aligns with your goals. Begin by updating the foundational exercises you've already completed. Regularly review your list of commitments and goals to ensure they still resonate with your core values and reflect your current priorities. This ongoing revision prevents stagnation and maintains motivation. Enhance your weekly planning process by adding a brief monthly review during your regular sessions. This will help you identify broader trends and adjust your strategy, ensuring you're not just busy, but also productive. Refine your daily habit-stacking routines by incorporating new, small habits that address recent challenges or opportunities. For example, if distractions are a hurdle, try a short meditation session before starting your most important task to boost focus. Remember the Eisenhower matrix we discussed earlier? Use it to prioritize daily tasks more effectively. Automate tasks in the urgent but not important quadrant, like repetitive admin tasks that software tools can handle. For important but not urgent tasks, consider delegating them to team members or outsourcing to specialists. This strategic delegation allows you to focus more on urgent and important tasks that have a direct impact on your goals. Finally, end each day with an accountability check. Compare your planned tasks against what you actually accomplished, identify any gaps, and understand the reasons for any procrastination. This routine fosters discipline, self-reflection, and continuous improvement. And with that, you're ready. By committing to these refined strategies, you create a structure that actively combats procrastination. Embrace this system to master your daily tasks and long-term objectives. With this approach, procrastination will soon be a thing of the past.